Hi friends, in continuation with our previous two lectures that is solving linear equations through graphical method and then substitution method. Today we are going to start with the next algebraic method which is method of elimination and this method is you can say most widely used method in order to solve the linear equations in two variables. I am going to explain this method with the help of an example. 5x plus 4y equals to 22 and 4x plus 6y equals to 26. Now step number 1 in elimination method is either we make the coefficients of x equal in both the equations. In first equation the coefficient of x is 5 and in second equation the coefficient of x is 4 or we make the coefficients of y equal. In first equation the coefficient of y is 4 and in the second equation it is 6. In this particular example I am going to make the coefficients of y equal and then eliminate. Here LCM of 4 and 6 is 12. So it means in the first equation I will make this 4 equal to 12 and in order to make this 4 equal to 12 I have to multiply the whole equation by 3 and similarly in second equation in order to make this 6 equal to 12 the whole equation needs to be multiplied by 2. So multiplying first equation by 3 and second equation by 2 this is what we will get 15x plus 12y equals to 66 and 8x plus 12y equals to 52. Now, in the pair of linear equations which we have obtained after multiplying the first and second equations by 3 and 2 respectively, you will observe this. The coefficients of y are now equal. Both the coefficients are equal to 12. Step number 2 is, if the signs of both the coefficients are same, then we will subtract these two equations. Whereas, if the signs of these two coefficients are opposite, in that case, we add the two equations. In this particular example, the signs of both the coefficients are same. Both are positive, plus 12 and plus 12. So, we are going to subtract these two equations. Now, subtracting equations means we will change all the signs of second equation. Positive terms will become negative and negative terms become positive. In this particular example, all the terms were positive. So all terms of second equation will become negative. And now 12y minus 12y will get cancelled. And 15x minus 8x is equal to 7x. And 66 minus 52 is 14. So we will get 7x equals to 14. Dividing both the equations by 7, we will get x equals to 2. So x equals to 2, value of x we got. In order to find the value of y, I will put this value of x in equation number 1. And I will get 4y equals to 12. If 4y equals to 12, divide both sides by 4, we will get y equals to 3. So our solution of this pair of linear equation becomes 2 comma 3 means x equals to 2 and y equals to 3. Let's take one more example and solve with the same method that is method of elimination. And the example is 2x minus 5y equals to minus 19 and minus 5x plus 3y equals to 19. Let's make the coefficients of x equal. In first equation, coefficient of x is 2 and in the second equation it is minus 5 and LCM of 2 and 5 is 10. Which means I will make both the coefficients equal to 10. In order to make 2 equal to 10, I need to multiply first equation by 5. And in order to make 5 equal to 10, I will multiply second equation by 2. And after multiplying first and second equation by 5 and 2 respectively, we will get another pair of linear equation 10x minus 25y equals to minus 95 and minus 10x plus 6y equals to 35. 
Now the coefficients of x are equal 10 and 10. We are talking about magnitude. Magnitude is 10 in both the cases. And we have already discussed that in case the signs are opposite, we add these two equations and see what we will get after adding the two equations. We will get 10x and minus 10x will get cancelled and minus 25y plus 6y is equal to minus 19y and 95 minus 38 is 57 and dividing both sides by minus 19 we will get y equal to 3 and in order to obtain the value of x we will put the value of y in equation number 1 and substituting y equals 3 in equation number 1 we will get 2x minus 15 equals to minus 19 shifting minus 15 on the right hand side we will get 2x equals to minus 4 dividing both sides by 2 x equals to minus 2 so solution set of this pair of linear equations is minus 2 comma 3 so this was all about substitution method in next lecture i will take up the method of cross multiplication till then thank you and have a nice day yes do not forget to click a like button if you really like the video and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thank you.